Good morning, good Saturday morning. Now, as you see here in in a front of me, in before me, before me, before you, is a pile of stuff. These are just pieces of fabrics and trims and and stuff. Okay, and underneath here, as I move all of these pieces of stuff, you will see a piece of britches leg. Now these used to be my husband's britches, but he grew out of them. Well, actually he grew, yeah, he grew out of them because these was a size of 38 in the waist. Now he wears like size of 32. Doggone it. I wish I could do that. But anyway, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you this magic trick. This is going to be a cover for another one of my traveler's journals. It's going to close this way, sort of. And this is like, like, you ain't going to believe this. This is just, this is just great. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take pieces of fabric, just small scraps of fabric. Now, let me see. Wait, I want to get, um, this one, I gotta cut this down a little bit. This one, this one's a little bit too big. Where'd I put my pinking shears? Oh, geez, increase. Okay, there. So I'm gonna just cut some of these into a little bit smaller pictures, pieces, pictures. Okay, a little bit smaller because that's what I wanna do with them is cut these ones in a little bit smaller chunks because I don't want them too big. I want them okay now I probably have too many and then this oh I like this do I have some of this oh I got some of that cut up already and then this this one here I'm gonna cut some of that a little bit smaller too. I like this one this is a like a more of a silky fabric here. Okay that's enough of those. And then a couple more chunks of maybe the denim. And you're going to see this. Watch this. This is amazing. This is going to be amazing. You're going to be just, this is just going to flop your dripper. Okay, now, I'm going to just start putting these pieces on this here, I'm putting them on the inside of the fabric, you know, on the wrong side of the fabric, because I want the right side of the fabric to be on the inside of the journal. Now, write that down, there's going to be a test. Now, I'm going to be taking these pieces and randomly put them all over this piece of fabric till I have it covered. I want it covered and I cut want it covered with with random pieces of fab well this isn't fabric. You know what this is? This is a kind of fabric. You know what that is? That's come off an onion bag or something. Onions. It probably held onions at one time. I'm gonna take a piece of that too. Okay, I'm going to take a piece of that onion bag. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, should I put that? Oh, yeah. Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to cover. I need to get some more covered before I put the onion bag. Okay, let's see. What all we have here? What do we have? What do we have? Here's like a little strappity piece. Strappity. This one's strappity. This is going to be a journal cover, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is going to be, now this here, wait a minute, let me, wait, wait, I've got to wait for that there. Let me put this in this corner. This is like ribbon right here. So, this painting green this morning, same color as my nail polish that I need to take off and put on new. And then see little tiny you can have little tiny pieces you can have great big huge 
humongous pieces. You can have whatever pieces your little heart desires. We'll put that little piece of denim right there. And then we will put this here groovy fabric right there. And let's put that one right there. Now, this one, here's another little piece. See, I'm kind of just patchworking it on there all over the place. See, just be patient with me. You've got to be patient with old people because you know how they get. That's me now. Now, where'd that onion thing go? Here. I kind of like that onion thing. I'm going to put that on there and see how that goes. Now, let me just put that right there. And purple. Got to have purple. Too many Christmas. Oh, wait a minute. I got to cut that. That one has got a stitching down there, and I don't want that stitching down there. Actually, I could have put that on there like that. But I don't want to get it too thick, you know, like thick, because for the simple reason, I got to take this to the sewing machine. Some threads I pulled off of there. What the heck? I'll just drop them on there, too. And I'll put this here. And let's get some purple over here, too, because purple is the color of choice for me these days. I like I likey purple a lot, and um, that's all I have to say about that. Now, I'm putting still more chunks in scraps. Oh, here's a piece of Rick Rack. Let's put that right there. And then here, let's put that there. And let's see. Let's get a, okay, let's put another piece. This is like a silky brocade kind of something. We'll put that right there. And let's see if we can get me some more purple down here. And there. This is looking pretty schnazzy. This is looking pretty schnazzy in my own humble opinion. Okay, that one will go right there. It's getting covered up. It's getting covered up. You wait till you see this. You're going to be impressed. You're going to be impressed. Okay. I think so anyway. You may not be. You'll probably, you might think that this woman right here has completely lost her ever loving mind. And you may be right. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll take a vote afterwards and see if. I've lost my ever-loving mind. There we go. Look at this. It's getting covered up here. I'm getting. I'm making some kind of headway. There we go. Let's put this like this. Let's get this. It's okay if it overlaps because I can trim it off. It'll all come out in the wash. It'll all come out in the wash. We can't put that one right there because there's one too much, too close to that one. Okay. How about? How about I put this one right here? We'll leave that clump of thread on there. And then, let's see. What else do we have? Do we have anything different than that? I don't want to get like bored with all this same stuff. And um, I get bored easy. Okay, let's put... No, let's put that back there. And let's put... Okay, we'll put this right here, and we'll go ahead and take this. We'll go with this one. Hmm. Hum. Hum. Let's see. Let's, let's say we want to put this one. Yeah, this is good. This one right here. That's good right there right there. We about got it covered up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let's put this one here. Grandmas and grandpas, aunts and uncles. Grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles. We get it. We're, we're getting it. Oops, put this back over here. 
and then we'll put this one right here. That has to go kind of sideways so it covers up. Okay, now, how's this? I've got to put a piece right there. And this one will work. Looks like I got all the denim covered up, and I put a piece of denim there. Then, let's see. But then I got this here. Stay down there, onion wrapper. Now, I have this here fringe yarn. Let's put that like on here too, like this. And let's put this piece. Let me see. Yeah, let's put that on here too. Let's just kind of sprinkle it around like that. And then here's a different kind. That is very beautiful. Let's put that on there. That's going to go on there. Now, that's good. That's good. Here is, what is this? This is some kind of special yarn that they make scarves out of, I found out. I didn't know what it was when I bought it, but then somebody told me it's for making some kind of, some kind of special, um, special kind of, um, scarves. I'm going to put that piece right there. And here I have a piece that's kind of like silver. And so so I'm going to put that one, kind of open it up a little bit and lay it right there. Okay, now there. Doesn't that match perfectly every bit of that? Okay, oopsie daisies. I knocked that out of its spot. Now. Let me see. That little piece of purple. That little piece of purple doesn't want to lay there all by itself, neglected. Now, we don't want to neglect any of the pretty pieces. Now, look at that. Does that artwork right there or what? I think it's beautiful. There. It's beautiful. Now. Now here. Here's the magic part. This is the magic part. I go abracadabra, alakazam, abracasumrum. And I get this stuff right here. Oh, I just learned about this stuff. Sulky. It's sticky fabric solvy. This. This right here. This here, I mean, it made me jump up and down for joy. It made me just, oh, you know what I wanted to do? I had this little sack of threads. Threads. We used to call our clothes threads back in the day. Nice threads, dude. You know, threads. Well, anyway, I don't know if you needed to hear that. but and just, When I said threads, that just made me think of that. Remember that, Papa? What's that? When we used to call, when somebody would see you in a nice outfit, they'd say, nice threads. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that was back in the day. Nehru jackets. Nehru jackets and bell-bottom breeches and, oh, my God, hip huggers. Now they call them hip huggers. They call them low rise. But they was called hip huggers in our day. Yeah, bell-bottoms. Oh, my gosh. Ponderosa shirts. Yeah, nice threads, man. Okay, I'm going to take this thread, these nice threads, and we'll put that down there. And put that on top of there, sort of like that. Sort of. Now, I don't want to get this too thick, but I'm going to put that on there just for safekeeping. Okay, now, this magic stuff that I was telling you about. Now, I got this piece, and it's about 12 about 9-ish by about 12-ish. Well, this is only 8-ish inches whitish. So, um, so it's not quite enough to go there. So I have to cut an extra little piece. So what I'm going to do now, this stuff comes in this roll like this. And it's slick on one side. Well, you got to cut that into the size in which you need. 
well, if I was at my sewing table, I would just cut it more exact because I don't want to waste even one inch of this. Okay, so that's not bad. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is I'm going to peel that backing off. Once I peel this backing off, then that sheet is sticky. This is now sticky. This is now waste paper, except I won't throw it away because I don't throw anything away. Now, I'm going to take that sticky and I am going to lay it across my everything that I just laid down there. My sticky is laying across this. Do you see that? Are you amazed at this or what? Okay, now. Now I need just that little extra piece up here. So I'm going to just cut. This is my my extra. Now my extra. I'm going to just cut this right here. Right down the middle. Half into down the middle. Uh -huh. There we go. Now, that's nice. That's nice. I'm doing a good job. You're doing a good job, Elizabeth. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. My dad used to always tell me I was doing a good job, Elizabeth. Like when I was helping him with the cows, you know. I'd carry the buckets of milk to the milk house. He'd say, good job, Elizabeth. Lizzie Beth, though. He's always said Lizzie Beth. Okay, and this piece I will put right across the top here. Okay, oopsie daisies. Okay, that's okay though that it didn't cover that. That's okay. Now, I am not going to be able to show you the next step, but I'm going to be able to describe it to you. Now, describe it. I'm going to describe it. Now see, I've got this here, sulky, Sticky Fabric Solvy. Write that down. There's going to be a test. And um, let me tell you, it's the fabric-like stabilizer that provides the supple feel of fabric with the easy removability of water-soluble stabilizer. So what this is mostly, what it's made for, actually, is for people who have those embroidery machines. Yeah, I don't have one of those. Uh, uh You know how much it costs? It costs much of a is a car. Okay. Well, a used car. And so, but that's what they use this for is on like the underside, or I guess they could do it on top too, of of those machines, those embroidery machines. Okay, so what I did now I just have a sample over here. I'm gonna show you. Boy, look at this fabric. I got this here piece of fabric. I would have tore a piece off of this, but it is so beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to do with this because my friend Carrie, she sent this to me out of the goodness of her heart, and I have never seen anything like this. It's all like postcards and envelopes, special delivery, second class airmail. I love this fabric. And so I don't know what I'm going to do with this fabric, but I'm going to get the most use out of this as ever. There's about a half a yard there. Half a yard, quarter of a yard. I don't know. Airmail. But there's enough there that I'm going to have fun with that. Okay, well, that just happened to be there, so that was a little show and tale. Thank you, Carrie. Now, here, this is one that I did, although this one... It's not even completely dry because I did it last night. This one I just laid. This one I had a piece of the salvi underneath and a piece of salvi on the top. So both sides are patchworked. Both sides. But see, you don't see the salvi on here. You don't see it on here because when I was done sewing, I put it into warm water and all of that salvi dissolved and it was gone like a gone goose. It was gone. 
Now, if you can see this, you can you see all the stitching? I mean, I went, this is the way I did it on this one. I just went around it and around it and kept going like inside and inside and just kept sewing. Gosh, I hope you can see that. That's a lot of stitching on there. In fact, on my sewing machine, well, I got a big thread on the top, but then the bobbin, it took the whole bobbin worth of thread to do this. So it takes a lot of thread. And so you pretty much have to have a sewing machine to do this unless you're really, really patient and you want to do it by hand. But on this one, I have like, I got ribbon on here. I got rickrack on there. Here's lace right here. And the whole thing is stitched with this thread that <laughs> colors my fingernails or part of my fingernails. And um, and so you just see, and I just zigzagged it with a small zigzag stitch. Now, I haven't, it's still just a little bit damp. So, and then once it's completely dry, I'm going to go along here and I'm going to trim it so that it's straight. As you can see, there's edges off, of, you know, hanging off. Well, I'll trim that. And then this is going to be another cover. Now, see, I can't show it to you because it takes a while to get all that sewed, to get it all sewed together. And so I'll go in there and I'm going to stitch it. But now this one, is, I'll show it to you probably tomorrow because once I get it all stitched, I may make a little video later on this tonight just to show because once I get it all stitched, then then I will put it in warm water and this fabric will absolutely dissolve. It'll be gone. It'll there'll be nothing left of it. So all we will see is the fabrics that I put under there. Now I'm real curious to see how like my yarn that I put there, the onion wrapper I put there, the threads I put over here because my stitching is like at least, you know, no less than, I mean, no more than a quarter of an inch apart. Now, you don't have to go around this way like I did in a spiralish kind of thing. You can go back and forth and back and forth and then go back and forth and back and forth. You can just keep sewing until you get the whole thing sewed on. Okay, I'll see you later, Papa. I love you. Okay. And, um... Hope the hair cutting ladies there because you're beginning to look a little homeless there. Okay, love you, darling. And so, um, so hopefully I'll have this ready to show you. Ready to show you tonight. Probably tonight I'll make a little video just and I'll just call it the Salvi update. So because I'll call this one something to do with Salvi. And then I will, the one I do tonight will be just the Salvi update where I can show you how this held together. And I'll get this one trimmed off as well. And maybe a few things done to this. Look at this trim I got yesterday. Talk about Bohemian. Can you see that? It's gold and it's got different colored sequins. Can you imagine that on the edge of, well, actually, I've already put it on the edge of some of my, on some of my, um, some of my journals have got that on the edge because I did it yesterday, but we're on this edge. I mean, with the gold in these colors, it makes me want to, like, take up belly dancing or something. Da, 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 da. You know, something It's so, so pretty. Okay, this is it. This is it. Now, this is just a little short video. You guys should be happy that I'm finally um, not making it too long. But I'm going to go sew this now. I'm going to the sewing machine. I'm going to sew it. I'm going to wet it. I'm going to take the salvy off of it. See, it's stuck. It's stuck to the my work surface, my play surface. Some people call it a work surface. It's actually a play surface. 
Okay, see there? So there we go. I might should pin just the corners a little bit and, and sew around. I probably will do that, sew around the edge first. But I'm going to use a small, short zigzag stitch and um, and then you'll be able to see the stitches better on this side too. That'll be that'll be so snazzy. This stuff just I just get so excited. I just I just get so excited when I figure something out. I was watching actually I was watching a quilting show. And I was watching a quilting show and I don't know why because I really do quilt because I don't have that much. I have quilted, but I don't have, all I've done is like patchwork quilts and crazy quilts, but um, I can't do them fancy schmancy ones, but I watch them every once in a while just for entertainment. And, and she was using that water soluble solvy on her, um, on her, whatever she was doing, she used this. And that's when I said, whoa, if she can do that with that, what could I do with that? So before the video was even over that I was watching, I went doo -doo 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 over to Amazon, bought me some. Two days later, here it was in my house. Two hours later, I had the package open and on the sewing machine. Okay, that's it. I'm going to let you go now. And I'm going to go to my sewing machine. It's in the other room. And, um... And it'll take me a while to get this sewed, but I'm anxious to get going. I am anxious. I want to get going with this. This is going to be so awesome. Okay, I love you guys. I love you so much for stopping by and watching my videos. And um, happy Saturday to you. Happy Saturday. And happy everything. And um, and I love you guys. And God bless you all. And and let him watch over every move you make, every step you take, and life will be good. Okay, I will see you again this evening most likely. Okay, bye-bye.